Hey, the layman. First layman. All right. It's basically a breakthrough technology that was discovered when astronauts went up into space. They found that the spinal discs were able to heal when there was no gravity because the pressure on the spine was actually decompressed. If you, know, you have gravity compresses, right. yeah. what the decompression does is it opens up the spine and the nerves. This allows the disc to heal. When the spine is shifted out of place and it's stuck and people sit behind the desk in the improper position, causes the discs to get compressed over time, they can eventually herniate. And herniations are serious problems that could require surgery to some people. And this is a non-surgical solution to actually, by separating the disc in a controlled fashion with the computer monitoring the patient's body, the disc material can be drawn in right. and heal. And there's no need for surgery. So it has a phenomenal success rate. Oh, yeah, it's an HDI. It's an 86 percent success rate. That's well, public I've, I've, I've had how many cases have you dealt with, sort of like that, where you've done a lot of spinal? Well, what do you think compression that we've been doing it? We've been doing it about 10 cases so far, and I'd say eight out of 10 effects, exceptional results. And did any of them come to you uh, after trying? Yes, uh, yes. Other methods? traditional oral methods, traditional chiropractic, which I use, but does have limitations. Right. And that's why we got into the spinal decompression, because there were patients that were chronic that I felt I could do better with, and then when I found out about the decompression, we started using it, and we get great results with it now. Now, did that take, like, uh, extra research, extra study? How did you get involved training. in this? Yes, extra training, more continuing education, and um, clinical practice, and then we started putting it in, and we just get great results. Now, I, I know you're a pretty famous guy here in Queens that gives... Yeah, we were even in this uh, new newspaper, this uh, Juniper Barry. Juniper, you, you write an article there? And, yes. And uh, does that um, give any information besides the TV show? Would that be uh, viable for yeah, people? Yeah, the Juniper is a great or a magazine. It's a great, or it's a civic organization. Right. It's part of what I belong to because I believe in taking care of the community. It talked about people getting run over on Queens Boulevard yeah. and traffic. Right. So, right. you know, part of help is making sure our community is healthy, making sure that we do a good job, so I'm, I'm a big supporter of uh, Bob Holden as the president, and the Juniper Park Civic Association does a lot of good work in the community, so that's something else I'm involved in, too. Okay, if some of, you know, we want to go back over this before we wrap up and you go to lunch and you got your next patient on that. Is that uh, tell us again, if people want information, education, to get that DVD, okay. and people either... Can some of those DVDs? Yeah, you got a DVD? On the oh, you got one here? Oh, my goodness. Larry King's in trouble. Uh, we have a DVD here. Oh, and this says tired of back pain. Exactly. So this DVD is all about the spinal decompression system. It's the LCD spinal system. It involves nutrition, rehabilitation, and spinal decompression. It's not just spinal decompression. It's a three-part program. This DVD will give you a good introduction. You can get this DVD for free. I'll send it to you for free because my mission is to educate you. Uh, it's 718 Eight nine eight eight three eight eight. That is my office. So please, only if you serious call because we get enough calls all day. Oh, that's poor uh, secretary. Oh. So, and we will gladly send you a free DVD. And you want them to send uh, return envelopes, postage? No, free? no, no. We'll send it to you. We'll send it to you. No problem. You're going to pay all that postage? It's part of our. It's part of our mission to help people. Well, let, let me tell you, people. Um, and this is our first show. We, we've had about seven or eight uh, different. Practitioners, we're going to be doing, you know, maybe an occasional lawyer, accountant, mm -hmm. whatever. But uh, the service you're providing for people, the education, you're going to be commended on that. And, and uh, I, I personally uh, have met uh, Dr. Alboro, you know, not not on his uh, job. Right. And, and people were saying very nice things about him. I was absolutely shocked that you watched our other show, The Money Magnet, mm -hmm. and. and and let us know that uh, you would be potentially give out information and education to people in Queens. Now, um, when you go to these places like the churches and, and the health food store, uh, are you charging them big fees over there in case other places want? Uh, no. You know, in case you know, in case there's other groups that want to get in contact with you, right. like a synagogue, you know, a, a senior center. Sure. Um, are you available, like? Uh, Days, nights, weekends, or how does your schedule work in general? When yeah, I mean, when you're talking about for a, like an educational program. Yeah, yeah. How would you do? Um, uh, that we have to we work that around the patients, but you know I have some mornings that I'm free to do that. I also can do it on an afternoon, a Saturday, or a Sunday afternoon. Is usually when I do that. So uh, do you ever get a day off? 
Sometimes. <laughs> All right. I love what I do, so, you know, it's, 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 it's really, it's the truth, it's a passion for me, it's a mission, and I don't really feel like I need a lot of time off because I love my work, so I, I, get, I get energized. So to you, it's not labor? So. Yeah, I mean, when you work with people and you help them, you know, and you take a little boy that had asthma all these years and you right. start working on him and he doesn't need his inhaler anymore and his wow. mom doesn't have to take him to the emergency room every other day and that doesn't, he doesn't need that anymore, that, that energizes you. So well, I can understand that. And uh, how, how long do you think you'll um, be doing this, you know, because we, uh, we might need a replacement you down the road if uh, it's hard to find guys like you. Yeah. Well, I plan on doing this for a long time, so hopefully, God willing, I'll be here for a I long mean, time. I mean, you look like you're uh, firm and fit, so you're okay? You yeah, sound? I'm all right. You're all right? Uh, okay, uh, just, just, just to reiterate... Maybe I can help the Yankees out. Yeah, just to reiterate, uh, uh, Dr. Alboro, is that uh, people can contact you at your phone number, which you've given. I think of my address. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're trying to get. We're in the, uh, we know we're across the street from Dunkin' Donuts. And, uh, the address is 63-70, right. Woodhaven Boulevard. It's in Rigo Park. It's right on the borderline of Middle Village. Like I said, it's across the street from Dunkin' Donuts. Right, and, and what, uh, is this a big, uh, how many uh, offices do you got here? Is there a lot of office buildings? How or? many? How many, is it, is it hard to get into your location? No, you walk right in the front door. Oh, right in the front door? Good secretaries will make you feel at home. That's part of the healing process. Okay, actually it is, because uh, when you go in there, if you get that rough treatment right away, you run right. out the door. Right. If you actually, actually, what we do is we, when we get permission from our patients, this is a birthday board, so oh, all of our patients look at that give us permission, we put them up on the birthday board to uh, recognize them for their birthday. Right, and, and uh, it's very interesting. So right. we've not, we have a family feel, and that's, you know, part of the problem with health care is it's too much about big business and big industry, it's not It's not about taking care of people, so our office is very different from that. Okay, just to uh, finish finish up the show, I know you got lunch and you got patients here, is that uh, when, when um, let's put it this way, how far in advance does a company or a group have to usually book you? Uh, usually at least a month, you know, and that depends on the company. When I trained with United Airlines, that was a, you know, I was training them all hours of the day and night. Anytime I wasn't seeing patients, I had to train them. So it depends on the size of the company and what type of training they want. Usually at least a month for us to do a program. Now, do you have any assistants or are you a long range or what's the story? No, I have I have assistants, sure. I have staff that work with me. Yeah. Now, Sam, do you do the, the, the compression or you just do that yourself? We do that all here. It's all done in the office. It's fairly, it's a pretty simple technique. Actually, sure. I mean, do well. you have a lot of, um, you know, like, uh, chiropractors or practitioners on the I have, I have another doctor that I work with. He's a physiatrist that helps with some cases uh, and further testing that he does and sometimes patients need some uh, right. pain management. He, uh, we work together on that, yeah. All right, doctor, we're going to have to wrap up the show because uh, I'm hungry and I might go get a donut. Okay. And I, wa I want to thank you very much and, and we're going to post your website and we really appreciate the opportunity to come to your office. Hopefully, you'll let us take one of your shows down the road. And I, and I want to thank my producer for bringing all this heavy equipment here and the opportunity to see your charts, your DVDs. And I want to thank you for being the first guest on Health Talk. Thank you very much. Thank you.